Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Emily Lepruce. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Twist Bioscience. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today. At Twist, we are a relatively uh, young company. We are founded in 2013. Uh, we have offices in San Francisco, South San Francisco, Tel Aviv, uh, as well as San Diego. And so far, we've raised $208 million of, of funding. And we think that uh, DNA is the uh, most important molecule of the century because DNA will help solve some uh, grand challenges that uh, humanity is facing. And the first challenge is the challenge of uh, sustainability. We use a lot of finite resources like oil and gas and, and pollutive processes to make stuff. And almost everything we touch in our daily life comes from oil. And uh, there's a better way to do it. And uh, some of our customers are using DNA uh, made by Twist to modify yeast and algae and E. coli uh, to use renewable resources such as, such as sugar to make those same chemicals uh, by fermentation. Uh, we, uh, our customers are also helping with solving the problem of hunger. Uh, whether we want it or not, the population is growing and the amount of land available to grow food is shrinking. So we need to make more food with less land. And, uh, and we've done it before as a human society. And on the right, I'm showing you what corn used to look like 7,000 years ago versus today. And some of our customers are using our DNA uh, to improve the production of um, food uh, with more resistance to uh, diseases, uh, extremes of weather, and uh, that needs less fertilizer. Uh, the other challenge is the challenge of, of health. And uh, there is an amazing uh, development in, in new um, uh, therapies, uh, such as uh, immuno-oncology. Here I'm showing you a movie of a killer T cell uh, killing a, a cancer cell. And uh, really, we, uh, there's a promise of entering an era of personalized medicine where everybody would get a personalized uh, drug uh, for a particular disease. And so to help uh, support that, that vision, uh, there's a need for uh, a better way to uh, find variants that are uh, 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 related to diseases. And uh, sequencing is a, is a key technology for that. And targeted sequencing in particular has a, a special role uh, because with targeted sequencing, uh, you can reduce the cost per sample, uh, you can get faster to your results, and you can add, get a better uh, sensitivity. So that's the vision of Twist. That's what we want to achieve. Uh, we want to be the DNA writing company uh, and, and help you uh, do, your, do your work. So with that vision, we need a better technology. And uh, uh, DNA has been made uh, for a long time. The, the chemistry to make DNA was published in 1981. That was 35-year-old chemistry. And uh, on the left, uh, we are showing what most people do to make DNA. They use a 96 well plate, uh, 50 microliters uh, uh, volume uh, of reaction. And uh, it, it works, but it does not scale. And that's why DNA is so expensive. So at Twist, we've uh, built a uh, very disruptive technology based on silicon. And on the right, I'm showing you our silicon chip. And on our chip, we have 10,000 clusters. And in each cluster, we have 121 uh, wells. So we have the equivalent of 10,096 well plate in, in this size. And uh, with that, uh, we can make a lot of DNA. And we can apply that DNA to many different uh, applications. And those applications are shown here. I'm only going to uh, show you two of them today. I'll talk uh, just very briefly about our genes, uh, because that was our first business. And I'll talk briefly about uh, NGS. And so uh, we are now the leader uh, in uh, the synthesis of genes. Uh, we can make your gene clone in your vector delivered perfect. And so some of you have probably uh, done cloning in your previous life. And I meet a lot of people, and everybody hates cloning. Uh, cloning is super tedious, and a lot of my investors are saying, oh, yeah, that's why I became an investor, because I hate cloning. And so uh, our goal at Twist is to uh, uh, make cloning obsolete. And uh, you can buy genes from Twist at 9 cents per base, which is two to three times uh, less than uh, what uh, the market used to be. And uh, to give you a sense of our capabilities, in the last 12 months, we have shipped 150,000 genes. Uh, so that's 150,000 cubes. And we are building capacity for a million genes uh, this year. And uh, if you want a gene, just go to twistbyscience.com slash shop. Everybody here uh, can order their, their own gene. Uh, and uh, one very exciting announcement in the gene space 
uh, one of our customers, Ginkgo Bioworks, uh, uh, is purchasing one billion bases from, from Twist. Uh, so we will write one billion bases for them, and that's actually a 10x improvement over what they ordered from us in 2015. So it shows the elasticity uh, of the market. So moving on to NGS, we are very excited to enter the NGS space. Uh, you are all familiar with, uh, with whole genome sequencing. You're also familiar with uh, targeted sequencing, where sometimes you don't want to sequence everything. Uh, you want to focus on very specific target regions. And uh, the benefit is uh, first that uh, you reduce the cost per sample, and, uh, and uh, you all have more ideas than you have budget. Um, so uh, by sh reducing the cost per sample, you can, try more, you can study more samples. Uh, second, you get a faster time to results. And then, you know, more importantly, you get more sensitivity. If you're in this example from this publication, if you want the APP genes, you, you don't want coverage outside. You want to maximize your coverage uh, on that gene. And so uh, you can increase your, your, your coverage. So that's great. Uh, that has been applied to uh, many different uh, applications. Uh, uh, from the, the study of population genetics, finding uh, rare variant, uh, <coughs> or finding uh, common variant, uh, and in, uh, in molecular diagnostics, uh, there's been a, a lot of use. And here we're showing you kind of the, the dimension of where targeted sequencing can be applied. Uh, at the bottom, uh, on the x-axis, I'm showing the number of regions, all the way down to just a few hundred targets all the way to the right, uh, doing discovery of very large uh, regions. And then in terms of sequencing, uh, you may want to only do 30x for a, a germline, or you may want to go to 400x uh, for a somatic detection, or even way beyond 1,000x, uh, for uh, example, for circulating tumor DNA. And so today, you'll hear a few examples of, of what can, can be done. And the workflow has been very well established. Uh, you design your, your, your panel, you do library prep, capture, sequence, uh, analysis. And uh, so this is a 10 years old uh, technology. Why do you need twist? Well, you need twist because even though targeted sequencing works, um, <clears throat> it has not evolved much in the last few years. And we think that there is a lot of improvement that can be done in targeted sequencing around performance, again, around flexibility. And at the end of the day, the goal is to maximize your sequencer output so you can have as many samples as possible on, on the machine. So why is it that, uh, that the target arrangement is, is not as performant as it should be? And it all starts from oligosynthesis. Here I'm showing you uh, several hundred thousand oligos that has been synthesized, and we sequence those oligos right out after sequencing. And you can see as a function of GC, uh, it's, it's a flat, uniform synthesis. It's, it's, the red line is flat. That's great. But to, for to do targeting, you need to amplify those oligos. And unfortunately, when you amplify 100,000 oligos, what happens is some oligos amplify great, and some oligos don't. And so you get this bias in, in oligo concentration, and that leads into bias in capture. So you end up with uh, regions that are at 20x, which you want, but you also get regions that are under 20x and some that are over 20x. So you end up to have to over-sequence everything to get to what you want. And at Twist, we found a new way to amplify the DNA. And we can maintain the great uniformity of the synthesis. And you can see the red line is flat. And, and what that means is that you get a uniform capture so you don't have to over-sequence. And without having to over-sequence, you can save, you can save uh, uh, money. So the other advantage that we have is that uh, our probes are double-stranded. Um, and the benefit of that is that we will go and capture both strands in the sample. And, uh, and so first, we get twice as many molecules uh, in the sequencing. So we have low du lower duplication rate. And then in addition, if you have a mutation in only one of the strands, for instance, if you have a deamination from LFFP sample, we will capture both strands. And you will find out that uh, one of those mutations is not real. Uh, that's a deamination. And so we provide more sensitivity, uh, especially in, in cancer samples. So we have a custom design, we have an exome design. And so it's a, a 33 megabase design. You have all the CCDS coding regions, and it works great. Here I'm showing you the comparison of the twist performance versus a competitor. And to be clear, we, we took the best competitor out there. And uh, as you can see uh, in green, our coverage for 1x, 20x, 30x 
is much higher than the competitor. It's true at one x, uh, sorry, at a, at a single capture, but even for an x-plex x -plex capture, that performance uh, stays. And so to give you a sense, uh, if you sequence uh, 4.9 giga bases of total sequencing, uh, you get 99% of the bases at 20x coverage and 96% at 30x coverage. Whereas for the competitor with that same uh, uh, sequence uh, thing, you will get uh, only 93% uh, of the base at 20x coverage. And for us, if you like 93% at 20x coverage, you will only need three gigabase of sequencing, which is a 70% better uh, performance. And here we're showing the distribution of the uniformity. And uh, when you look at the distribution of the reads, you get regions on the left where you have improved coverage, uh, so more uh, coverage. And on the right, uh, where it's over-sequenced already, you get less coverage, so you have the coverage where you, where you want it. The GC uh, capture is exceptional. Here on the left, we are showing twist, where we have a tie distribution at the low GC and high GC, versus uh, the competition where the, you get a, a biased uh, capture. Um, and in a clinically relevant region, uh, CYP21A2, uh, this is a paper that, that uh, describes how relevant that is, with uh, other uh, kits, you have low coverage in the CY21A2 uh, genes versus uh, the TNXB genes on, on the right, whereas with Swiss it's uniform uh, throughout. Uh, and what that means in, in real life, if, you, if you're sequencing, here we are comparing how many samples you can uh, run with twist on NextSeq, HighSeq, and NovaSeq uh, versus uh, the best competitor out there. And uh, with NovaSeq, you can get almost 500 uh, samples per, per run with uh, other kits, whereas uh, you get more than 800 uh, with twist. And again, we chose the best competitor if other kits are even worse. We also do uh, exome customization. So if you think you need more than the core CCDS, uh, we're happy to add anything you want. And there's two ways to add it. One way is to just add more content, so add more genes. Uh, or the other way is to enhance the, the, the coverage. If there is some genes where you want an increased coverage, we can easily uh, do both. Uh, we also do custom. And uh, in custom, just give us your, your target regions. In one day, we can do a design. In two to three weeks, we can send you a test panel. If you like it, you can move forward. Uh, if you want a slight improvement, uh, we can uh, you send us your FASTQ file, and we'll uh, tune the performance to enable you to go high-scale uh, production. And I'll show you two examples. One example here is on the left is uh, uh, an assay from a competitor. Uh, here we show the GC bias. Uh, uh, at low GC and a high GC, you have low coverage. And versus uh, the, the, for the same regions uh, with twist on the right, it's a much more uniform uh, performance. And then the second example is a, a 2.5 mega base designs at 400x coverage. Uh, with a different uh, uh, technology, you can put 187 samples per lane on a Nexic, whereas with twist, you can put 267 samples per lane, so a lot more samples. So you can go through a, sam so through a project uh, much, much quicker. In addition, we NGSQC all of our probe. Uh, so what that means is that nothing leaves twist uh, without being NGSQC done. Uh, this is what, what we, we do. Uh, when the, the kit leaves, we can tell you that all the oligos are there. And here on the right is an example of a failed QC where uh, we saw a bias. It happens once in a while. This does not ship. This goes into the, into the bin. And uh, we only send you something that's uniform. And uh, I think from other uh, uh, companies, this may be a great, uh, uh, the best they could do, but this never ships uh, twist. Uh, and this is another example of a comparison of, of twist with a competitor where there was a 26 exons, so 2.3 KB uh, missing, but there's absolutely uh, zero coverage. Again, that does not happen with us. And finally, we have uh, flexibility. Uh, we have the complete kit. Uh, we have library prep, everything, but uh, if you like your library preps, no problem. Uh, we'll uh, just, in the, uh, just uh, sell you the, the probes and the enrichment reagents. And if you already have everything, you know, your buffer, your bees, everything, uh, we're happy to just sell you uh, the probes.
So uh, overall, uh, we have a great new solutions, and uh, we, we want you to experience a much better performance so that you can stretch your, your sequencing uh, dollars. We also announced today a partnership with, uh, in, in Europe with Integragen. They are uh, the, the, the leader in uh, uh, analysis and, and uh, creating variant reports, and their software, Sirius and Mercury, uh, tie in really well uh, with, uh, with Twist. So I'll give you just a quick word about data storage. I know it's, it's maybe not what you expect, but uh, uh, we live a digital life and uh, a lot of our data is on, on, um, on electronic media, and there's a better way to store data, and that is on, on, on DNA. You can find 20,000 years old mammoth DNA, and the DNA is there, you can put in a sequencer, it works. And so we've been working on the technology for data storage, uh, and the way it works is you take uh, zeros and ones, a file, you, you uh, encode that in ACGT, we do the synthesis, you can store it as long as you want, uh, so it's permanent, and then when you're ready to go, uh, you can retrieve it, sequence it, and uh, decode and get your, your file back. So not only it's, it's permanent, but it's also extremely dense. If you take a thousand hard drive, um, uh, you know, that's a lot of space, a lot of energy, uh, but if we make it, uh, the equivalent of one pentabyte, that is the size of a grain of salt. Um, so it's really dense, it works well, we've demonstrated uh, with uh, uh, Microsoft and the University of Washington that uh, we could store uh, uh, data at archival quality and uh, we have uh, music from Miles Davis and Deep Purple that are now stored at the United Nations Memories of the World uh, uh, forever. Uh, coming in a data center near you soon, uh, long-term data stored on DNA uh, with Twist. Is, so it works great. DNA is the best media. Uh, what is missing for now is the price. So here I'm showing you the cost of a hard drive, and in green the cost of tape, and in purple we have the cost of DNA. So DNA is still too expensive, but we're working on a technology that will lower the cost of DNA by a million X, and in a few years we think we'll be able to intercept tape and, and replace tape. So to conclude, uh, uh, we want to enable you uh, to do more, and I, want, I know that uh, when I say that, some of you cringe because you don't want to do more, you want to do less. But uh, what I mean is uh, we want to enable you to do more of the good stuff. And so to do that, we have DNA that's fast, that's affordable, it's high quality. We, have the f we are the first to use silicon as the writing platform. That technology scales in genes, in NGS, in data storage, and uh, we provide you with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, precision at scale. Uh, that's, that's all I'll say. Uh, thank you very much.